Okay, YouTube, here we go again. I got some serious stuff to go over with you today, but I wanted to read you a couple of quick scriptures. 1 Peter 3.10 For whosoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. 2 Corinthians 11.13 For such people are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. Okay, I just want to pay, uh, play a quick little snippet of a video here. Take a listen. Bye, it's Angie. I'm so confused. All I know to do is pray. I felt this guy, Jonathan Clegg. Well, I was kind of amazed because when God opened my eyes, I started seeing those things. And, you know, I've been trying to get closer to God and pray. Pray hard. Please excuse. I don't, I'm not good at this. Don't do many videos. Actually, don't do videos. But, when, my, when your eyes start opening, you get on YouTube and it's like, oh my word. There's so many things out there. It, it's Hard to decide the truth from the Bible. There you go. So the poor girl is confused. But the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. So one of the reasons people are confused are videos exactly like this. I'm going to play you a little snippet of this. And um, this doesn't make your blood boil. <clears throat> I don't know what will. Check this out. Those of you that really know your Bible... See if you can smell the rat in this. So very quickly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat myself. I'm gonna do it once clearly, concisely, and very obviously. Genesis one, okay? In the beginning, Elohim, gods of the supreme God, created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God, Elohim, moved upon the face as the part that turns of the waters, semen. That is exactly what this altar is. You're looking at an altar that is exactly that. There is a bunch of gods, angels, or magistrates, and there they are turning into semen. Can this guy make a video without talking about penises, vaginas, and semen? I don't think he can. He's a friggin' freak. Okay? And besides that, did you guys see how he altered the scriptures? Let's go back. Let's play that again. Very quickly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat myself. I'm gonna do it once clearly, concisely, and very obviously. Genesis one, okay? In the beginning, Elohim, gods of the supreme God, created the heaven and the earth. Okay, did you hear that? How he altered the scripture? Because that's not what the scripture says. This is what it says, reading right from the screen here. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay? So, I mean, come on. He's trying to imply the angels did this. All right? So we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about God. We're going to talk about a little bit about the Lord. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Lord God. Okay? So here we go. Okay, Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay? And you look at all the times it talks about God here. And the Spirit of God, and God said, and God saw, and God called, and God said, and God made. Okay? And we're going to go on down here to Genesis 2. And still talking about, and on the seventh day, God ended his work. 
ended his work. It doesn't say God ended their work. It says God ended his work. Meaning singular. Okay? <clears throat> then we're going to go to Genesis 2.4. Now remember, God did this, God did that, God did this, God did that. All the way from Genesis 1-1, one, one, all the way to this point. And then it says, And these are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Okay? The Lord God. So God and the Lord God are the same. All right? <laughs> Read the first chapter of the book of John. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Okay? This is a clear reference to Genesis right here. All right? It also says that God didn't... That everything that was made was made by Him. The Word that became flesh. Check it out. First chapter, I'd bring it up. But I've got so many things loaded. When I try to pop up my scripture here, I can't, I, I can't bring it up. So you just got to read that one for yourself. But it's clear as day. The Word created everything. The Word is Jesus Christ. The Word is the Lord God. Okay? So what he's doing is, like again, he's confusing God with the Lord God. And then we can go through, I mean... Look at all the verses. Just any, pick a verse, any verse. You know, it should be clear as day. But thou must eat them before the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God. It doesn't say the Lord God. It says the Lord thy God. Okay? But it's the same. The Lord thy God. The, the Lord is God. You could also call him the Lord God. You could also call him God. So no wonder people are confused listening to this guy. Because what he's trying to do is he's trying to change the terms. He's trying to get you to believe that angels created the earth and trying to create the, and they created man. And that's a damn lie. Now, you never hear me cuss. But I'm telling you, that's a damned lie. Okay? It's a lie from the pit of hell. And I'm really getting tired of it because he's doing damage. I just played you a copy of a video from a girl. She's so confused. No wonder she's confused. Because of stuff just like this. And these cult followers of Kleck, I mean, you guys are lost. You are going to burn in hell. Hands down, no doubt about it. Kleck is altering the scriptures. You guys are eating it up like it's, you know, candy canes or something. And you're all going to burn because you're teaching a false gospel. You're changing the word of God. The, God. the scriptures are very, very clear. Okay? You alter. You take anything to. You, you know, or take anything from. You add anything to. You're in big trouble. All right? Next point I want to make is those that are believers, those in their heart that know this is true, those that follow my channel, do me a favor. Do your best to share these videos, like these videos if you like them, share them, get the word out, and try and put, a, put the brakes on this kind of false teaching, because this guy is totally out of control. Alright? I mean, it's, it, you know, listen, Ezekiel is very clear. It says if the watchman sees, you know, the enemy coming and doesn't warn the people, the blood is on the watchman's hand. But if he warns them, then the blood is on their own. Okay? So that applies to you. You guys got to get involved. I'm doing the work. I'm taking a lot of heat from my wife. She'd rather me do a lot of other things to bring some income or something into the home. All right? I never ask you for money or anything. But things are tight for us. But that's okay. You know, I'm not asking you for money. But, you know... I got the best wife in the world, all right, and, and you know, if, if, so please, just spend some time, try to wake some people up, that's all I'll ask, 
That's all I ask. I don't want any money. These videos are not even monetized. Okay? But, you know, do me a favor. Just please share the word. Please try to wake as many people up. Because damage is being done. And with that, God bless you. If I can do anything for you, need some counseling or whatever, let me know. I'll help you the best I can. Take care. God bless you.